What up, y'all? Bang roll Tim. Let it up. Over here working on these tubs. Trimming them to fit. I'll be them together like that. I cut them at 10 inches wide. So, starting to get some basic cuts on there so I can keep sliding it up in here. Figure out where it needs to sit exactly. So of course the corner in here, this is all straight how I want it. Corner into here. This can be all tack welded to it. Cleaned up all in here. Cause the tub will overlap into here. So that way you got this whole area to tack, 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 tack. So you guys out there trying to do these tubs and making just like a little piece to go in here, you can overlap to this, which makes it stronger. And you got the tack, 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 tack here. And then you can weld from the inside right here and tack. The more tacks, the better, the stronger it's gonna be. Man, it's a mess up in here. But yes, I will sell the tubs fab like that. And you just gotta fit them. These are not trailer tubs, these are re or trailer fenders. These are real tubs, not no BLs. Steel, so you weld it in. Ugh, man, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. I know other places get it done real fast, this and that, you know, when you got one guy cutting this side out, another guy cutting that side out, another guy forming the tubs at the same time, you know, everything goes smooth. I don't have people like that. It's just me. I bought some deep dishes all the way around. <laughs> Anyways, change the front. Got the drill and slider rotors on there now. So the front is damn near 100%. The height sits pretty good where it's at when I had all four wheels on it. But I had the air shocks all the way up in the back, which was putting a little more weight to the front. So I really can't set everything with the front, the height and the alignment until the car is sitting all, on all fours and how the ass end is gonna sit. Then I can set the front. So this car is very, very close to being done, to getting out of here. I have to go pick up the axles. Like I said, the rear end right here is the one for it. Now, this is a 7.5. 7 I had to cut the pause unit out of this one which we're not using this gear. It's a 410. Uh-oh, I don't know what happened over there. Oh, somebody threw something away. So anyways, this rear end, I had to cut the pods out. It's a 410. We're putting a 373 in it, so we already ordered the 373. We ordered the True Track Posi. We ordered it 28 splines. Normally, a 7.5 in a G body is... Well, all of them are 26 spline axles, and that's the weak spot of a 7.5. So you can always get a center section, 28 spline. The best center section to go with is a True Track Posi. True Track has nothing but gears inside that lock together, and that way you can do donuts either way you want. Spin it to the left, spin it to the right, whip it around, whatever. It's never going to break one tire. Regular bullshit Posies will break one tire, and your power tire being your right bag tire. You guys ever notice that when somebody's doing a donut, they're swinging the ass in to the right, both tires are staying locked in. They swing the ass in to the left, then it breaks one tire, so the right tire starts spinning faster than the left tire. That eats the clutches right out of a posi. So that's why it's always better. Spend a couple more dollars, buy the true track, buy it one time, be done. So then again, you can get it in 26 blind or 28 blind. Jump it up to 28 blind and then change your axles. So Mosier, you could order a set of axles from, from Mosier, stock G-body length, and just up the spline count from 26 to 28 for 400, I don't know, 460, 500 bucks shipped to your door. And it's, it's nothing to pull the axle out, pull the center section. I mean, it's actually pretty cheap, or pretty easy. Cheap and easy, whatever. Boy, if we all could have it that way. <laughs> So anyways, that's it for rear rounds. This is the rear end. You're going to go in. I haven't fab it yet. So it's still a day or two in fabbing that. Still another day in these, getting these tubs in. Um, as for the 78 cutlass, we have a little more work done to it. 
As you can see, the anti-roll is set up in there where it's gonna be. Um, it's tacked in. You got the other side yet to tack in. Um, the lowers, see how I was saying about the lower boxes? So now we're gonna run some bracing off those boxes to the cross member right here. So the box will be tied into there. And uh, there's two more bars gonna come from this plate. We're gonna come from this plate, curve to the frame, go down into here. So then we'll probably come off there to the back of the box too. Not sure exactly, so don't quote me 100 on that, but now the car is full adjustable there. So now it is uh, better into race car quality to where you can totally adjust it. So this car got more work done to it. Oh, there it goes with a trip over the rear end. Another one, this is another 8.5 G body rear end, which is for the black 442 right there. We got the adjustable boxes right here on the bench for it. Boom. And then, yeah, that's what we got going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is that 8.5 G body rear end that I have for sale. That's another one. There was a guy that wanted it and then he asked something about I told him it was just housing and axles, 28 spline axles, housing, G body, um, 442 rear end, uh, GN rear end. Those are the only two G bodies that ever came with an 8.5. 442s and Grand Nationals. So this one is cleaner than the last one, but basically 1200 bucks. But that guy didn't want it because it had drums on it, not disc, which it never came with disc. So, but that is for sale still as of today. Um, same date as this video, because this will go up today. This is up today, it's up now, whatever. It's for sale, 8.5. G-body, rear end, stock length, 20 inch line axles. Four and three quarter bolt circle, missing the center. You need to put your own center section in it, whatever gear you want, stuff like that. This thing's gonna look mean as hell when it's on the ground. I wish I could get it done this week. More to get done to it today, though. Yeah. Again, back to these tubs. Man, it's a lot of work. A lot of trimming, a lot of fitting, you know? And then when you go from uh, Malibu to Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo, you know, cut list, this, that, you got a little bit of the, a difference of the inside. And then wheel-wise, if you're making a frame just a little thin or thinner, um, depending on how deep a, of a lip you have and how far you're going to narrow. Uh, you can't, I mean, you can do the tubs. That's why, like, with, with the fitment here, I'm cutting this, drawing these lines, cutting this. That's that's how you would start right there. And then you just get your car cut out like you want, and you just start fitting it up in there, fitting up in there, and just making lines and cut, 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 cut until you get it to fit the way you want it to fit. Tack it in, do some measuring, stuff like that. You could do one side before the other side, so that way you just follow all your measurements from whichever side you do first to the other side. So you don't have to do you don't have to have them both cut out at the same time. If you're somebody that's doing it by yourself at home, maybe on some jack stands, make sure you put you know make sure the car's up in the air, make sure it's level. Um, go ahead, cut one tub out, cut your frame, do your frame rail, um, then trim the car back to where you want the tub to sit so that way you don't go too far back or not enough. Then you can square it up. You could even set a laser. You can get those lasers nowadays. Set it in the car and point it forward and draw the line so that way you have a straight line. But yeah, more on tub stuff. I'm trying to keep this interior as clean as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. So I keep uh, blowing it out, blowing the car off. This is all fine little metal shavings. One more quick thing. You can see the quarter right here. There's no dent, there's no wrinkle, no ripple in the quarter. And there's a little basic, eh, no. But anyways, you guys see those cars out there and you see the quarters with dents and stuff here. Now, when the tire, if the tire's out too far and the tire catches this area, it pulls this area down. 
which there's a brace inside here and it tweaks this area which gives you a wrinkle <clears throat> if you see cars that are out there that are already mini cubs this area right here where that brace is right here where the brace is in the trunk they beat this to try to stay with the shape of that curve right there and when they beat on this it weakens that brace and it puts a pre-wrinkle in it so it already makes a soft spot in the car so then it just causes it to become a weak spot and then it starts showing flex in it malibu's I mean, you guys have seen it. Malibu, Monte Carlo, stuff like that. You see the wrinkles in the quarters. And then the first thing people do is they want to take it to the body shop. Let the body shop fix it. Well, then the body shop, however they fix it, they go through and mud work it or whatever they do. But it's just a band-aid on the outside that's going to that's gonna break it. It's going to reappear. It's going to wrinkle. The structure inside, the brace has to be cut. Then it has to be worked. And then if it leaves a gap inside that, brace and in the, in the inside you leave the gap because it would be settled and you, and you weld that gap in or plate it brace it whatever so i don't know i'm probably rambling to a lot of you guys some of you might be listening some of you already stopped watching but i'm trying and you see me when i'm on the camera ain't nobody else here ain't nobody else here my son came yesterday and the day before and he was over there messing with his car um, he put his fuel lines on the carburetor and there's the compressor to ruin my video but anyways he just put the fuel line on the side there which adds nothing but it's still he did it himself I keep telling him to clean this thing off we got some heavy gauge plastic you can wrap it up or make a make a cover but alright with that being uh, said and all that business with that mini tubbing I will sell the mini tub like that maybe with a little bit more fitment but all right that's all appreciate everybody let it up I'm out <laughs>